You may have heard me speak highly about how much I like hyperscrolling. But what is it? Do we need it? What kind of mouse has hyperscrolling? Well, in this short video, I'll be addressing all these points about hyperscrolling. So let's begin with what hyperscrolling is. Hyperscrolling is a term used by Logitech to describe some of their scroll wheels that are able to spin freely. And if you don't want it, there is some mechanism to switch back to regular stepped scrolling. The general advantage is that if you are scrolling up or down a long document or a page, you can spin the wheel fast and it will keep on spinning on its own weight. And you can catch it when you have reached the right point of the page or it comes to stop as it gradually slows down. Logitech uses a few methods of switching between the two spinning methods. First and more common method is to have a switch on the mouse itself that switches between two modes. The second method is more dynamic. The wheel is normally on stepped rotation by default, but if spun fast, it mechanically switches from stepped rotation to free spin. As the spin slows down, at one point the mechanism catches the wheel and switches back to stepped rotation mode automatically. The second method is usually reserved with Logitech's more premium end products. Before I talk about the user's experience, I'd like to mention that I have a second channel called Property Technical. Perhaps you would like to see before and after of renovation projects or technical things in relation to knocking down an old rundown house and building something new on top and making money in the process. All this and much more in the other channel, Property Technical. Let's now address the user's experience of this technology. I have been using hyperscrolling wheel for close to a decade now and I have spoken to few others who has also been using the technology for a significant amount of time. My journey started with the old M705 mouse which had a switch to toggle between the two modes. In a manner of few days I got used to the hyperscrolling and since then I have never changed back to step rotation ever. I have used the MX Master for some time too. This mouse can dynamically switch between free spinning scroll wheel to step rotation based on the speed as discussed earlier and turned off this switching function altogether. I was so used to the hyper scrolling that step rotation felt like I was dragging weight. And this free spinning wheel is frictionless like skating and I could scroll as slowly as I needed with higher precision or as fast as I needed effortlessly. So there is no reason for me to ever switch back. A friend of mine who is a software engineer, he said that he uses his MX Master with auto switching on. He prefers to scroll down the page one line per step of rotation and he was referring to lines of code. That is his preference. A few others I spoke to very few said that they are still using stepped rotation while there was hyperscrolling on the table. However, that being said, there is one person that I know who uses stepped rotation and does not utilize the hyperscrolling. So the conclusion here is that there are a lot of people like me who very easily got used to hyperscrolling and don't use any other form of scrolling. Then there are few who switches between the two modes as per their preference and finally there are few exception who found hyperscrolling is just not for them. Also let me point out that any mouse that I have come across has some kind of mechanism to switch between step rotation and hyperscrolling or rather there is no mouse that I have seen where hyperscrolling cannot be turned off if need be. And second point is that most mouse with hyperscrolling feature also has other features that makes those products stand out. Most of these are mid to top shelf product and hyperscrolling just happens to be one feature amongst many. So if hyperscrolling is such a useful feature and people get used to it so naturally, why is it not so common? Why are other manufacturers not putting hyperscrolling in their mouse? Well, that has to do with a patent. Hyperscrolling is a patented technology by Logitech 
and word on the vine is that to license it, it is very expensive, which would in turn make the product non-competitive. Not that this free scrolling concept does not exist in other manufacturers. For example, there is a free scrolling wheel in Microsoft's Precision Mouse that switches to step rotation using a mechanism utilizing magnets. And then Microsoft went ahead and patented that technology. <laughs> what can I say, right? Well, there is also Amazon's basic mouse which they say has fast scrolling. The mouse looks rather close to the Logitech's M705. But more importantly, there seems to be a lot of complaints about the mouse having quality issues. The conclusion of this video is that hyperscrolling or fast scrolling is a very successful evolution for scroll wheel. Users generally got very used to it and manufacturers know it and thus they are protecting it with patents and are choosing to put this technology only on more upper range of their model lineup. The tech is most certainly very useful to the end users as it is to the manufacturers to make money with. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please do share your opinion about this hyperscrolling technology. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, I would appreciate if you visit my other channel, Property Technical. It's very different but contains good info. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, you take care of yourself.